Hey y'all, California Prepper here, and I'm back with another unboxing for you guys. This is going to be sort of a touchy subject uh, for some subs. I know a lot of people um, are against um, clones in the knife industry. I myself, I do not necessarily support clones. Um, I guess buying a clone is uh, somewhat supporting it. But, guys, there, now, let me break it down this way. There are a few reasons I could see somebody buying a clone. Now, if you're buying a clone to, you know, to get a bunch of knives and pretend that they're a hinderer and walk around and say, oh, this is a hinderer and try and fool people or, you know, make a quick buck and try and resell them. Now, that, that's horrible. I, I completely condemn that. Uh, but if... If you can, I mean, if you like a knife design so much and it is something that you know you will never, ever be able to afford. Um, in this case, uh, you know, if it's a hinderer uh, clone and uh, Rick Hinderer's knives are amazing. You know, if you're lucky enough to be able to get one directly from him, you may be looking at, you know, five, seven, eight hundred dollars you know, somewhere in that range, depending on what you're looking for. But if you go on the secondary market, you're looking at easy a thousand dollars, you know, entry. Just to get a hinderer knife, you have to at least have a thousand dollars. And that's on the secondary market. That is ridiculous. So, you know, if that, if the only way that you can, you know, get yourself something that you've wanted, uh, you know, for so long is, is to get a copy. If you're not going to try and fool everybody and, and try and pretend it's the real thing, then, you know, I, I, I can't tell you uh, that's bad, you know, because I myself, I've wanted an XM18, you know, since I have started collecting knives. I'm a huge Rick Hinderer fan. The, the ZT0560 was my grail knife. I, I was willing to trade body parts for that. I swear to God, if somebody would have offered me a 560 for an arm I would have taken it you know but it, it's it really pisses me off sometimes when people get on other people about you know buying a clones well not all of us have five hundred dollars we can go drop on a Sabenza you know so some of us have to go buy a fifty dollar knockoff you know but we're not trying to fool anybody and, and resell them or pass them off as the originals we'll be the first one to tell you this isn't a real thing but I liked the design so much that I, you know, I wanted one for myself, and there was no way that I'd be able to spend a thousand dollars on a knife. To me, two hundred and fifty dollars for uh, a ZT0560. That was like, when I told my wife that, I thought she was gonna laugh herself to death. You know, if I could only imagine coming to her and telling her, "Honey, I spent twelve hundred dollars on a knife," she would kick my ass out, flat out like that, out of my own house. She would not care. She would not hesitate. That, that's just, to, to me, $1,200 seems unreasonable, especially when the maker of the knives is, is selling them for, you know, half that. So, I do not condemn people uh, for buying clones if that's all they can afford. If you have the money and you're just being a cheapskate or you're trying to get over on somebody, then you're just a jerk and go buy the buy the real thing and actually give the designer, the actual designer of the money, his dues. Because if I could afford it, I would love to go buy a, a real hinderer and give Rick Hinderer the money for the product he designed. But I can't afford it. I really can't. I have a wife and two kids that are dependent on me right now. And $1,200 for a knife? Holy crap. Like I said, I, I would have to literally move to Mexico, change my name, because my wife knows my social security number. I'd have to be gone. You know, there there's no way that she would not kill me uh, for spending $1,200 on a knife. So, without further ado and rambling about this, I'm going to get into this package before I run out of time on this uh, here camera. So, I guess you guys probably already know what's in the package. So, uh, let's get into it, shall we? We'll use a real Benchmade Griptilian 550 with the hollow ground blade. Love this thing. This package I actually ordered about two weeks ago. It said it would take about two to three weeks um, to get here. And uh, it's here. About a week and a half, two weeks later. And I am rocking uh, one of these paracord bracelets by Brother RPM Idaho, by the way. Big shout out to him. Uh, just took off the black one earlier and switched it to this one. 
Really appreciate that, brother. I love these things. They're awesome. Every single one fits perfectly. Man, if I could get this box open, I'm telling you. Freaking Gorilla taped it. All right. Nothing in there. That was a pretty nice box. I guess for a hinderer. <laughs> so it feels like a pretty cheap uh, six point wannabe boker box. In here we have a nice uh, little knockoff XM pouch, XM18. Nice little pouch, pretty cool they include that in there with it. Dang it, if I can get the damn box open. Ooh, that has some heft to it. Wow, that's nice. Never held a real hinderer. Oh wow, it's just cut. Look at that, that is just lobbed up in shipping grease. I guess that's a good thing. Most people, let's wipe this off a little bit here. Ooh, that is nice though. That is some quality work. It feels pretty solid. Coyote Brown. There she is, guys. XM18 knockoff. From, shipped from China. Ordered on AlliExpress.com. I think it was about 89 bucks. Shipped. Got here in about two and a half weeks. Not too bad. Needs to be loosened up. Maybe cleaned up a little bit. Still pretty greasy. But all around, pretty decent. I mean, compared to a ZT0560, they're probably about the same in weight. I need to get a, sale, a scale um, you, to verify that, but definitely very close in weight. Definitely a nice knife, though. Pretty good quality so far. Let's see if it's any sharp right out the box. Got a nice magazine here. Got some paper. Man, can't say it's not sharp right out the box. So, there you go. I tried looking for the ones that didn't say hinder, but almost every one I found did. So, uh, kind of had to take it. I was hoping to get one that said titanium because I know those are one of the better clones but uh, this is pretty high quality uh, for my standards anyway. So that's going to do it for now guys. Hopefully uh, I don't lose too many subs for this but just wanted to check it out. I'll never be able to own one of these knives and uh, I'm not trying to pretend it's anything other than exactly what it is. So that's going to do it for now guys. California Prepper. I'm out of here.